can you see me? Because I sure am not going to be able to see you. Boy, is that sun bright. All right. So I have a little bit of time before I need to pack up the boyfriend's dog and take the dog to the vet. And then the boyfriend will meet me at the vet because he will be coming from work and he just wasn't able to get from work to here and back in time. So, um, but anyway, this video is about me doing something to bring in money because, because of the stock downturn, it's making me think about streams of income. And when the stock market is doing fine, did you hear that? Because the dog barked and because a plane, that was Charlotte that barked, not the other dog that barked, but ah, it's loud. All right, Um. anyway, when the stock market is doing just fine, then that's how I sustain myself. But when we're in a situation like we're in right now, then I worry. It, I, I, I can't sustain myself if it's going, going to stay like this. I would be in very hurting shape if it did not recover. So, um, so, um, it makes me think that, I mean, I do believe it's probably going to recover, so I could just trust that it will recover and just, you know, believe believe it and not really think anything further about it but this has happened before and it really would be better if I had something to something else to rely on and also something to do with my time because I drive myself crazy without anything to do. Okay, so what am I thinking about? All right, what I do not want to do is set on an alarm clock and go to a job. And I've been away from corporate America for long enough that I'm not going to be able to go back to drafting, AutoCAD, that would take, you know, too much of a learning curve um, my, you know, my resume is way, uh, you know, outdated. I mean, there's been, I, I'm, I'm guessing I, there, there's way too many further updates to AutoCAD and are they, are they using AutoCAD anymore? Are they doing, they're probably not even doing two dimensional drafting anymore. They're probably doing 3D type modeling software. I, I, you know, I don't even know. Are there drafting jobs available? You know, there, there may not be. The whole entire field may be outdated. Uh, now, that was one of the career paths that I had, but I had actually moved away from that particular uh, career path and I had done tech writing um, for a couple of years and then I also had worked for a telecom when the, the telecom boom was going on but then that there was a bust in the telecom boom. I worked for Windstar and that company doesn't exist anymore. So all the training that that company did is useless. 
and I got trained on a type of AutoCAD type program that they had that Lucent designed and that's useless. So, you know, any kind of resume that I could write that said, oh, I can, I've, no, I, I can't even say I can do that because I can't remember anything. And um, even if I could remember how to use it, there, nobody's using it any, anymore. The switching type uh, what is it? Five S S. I, I whatever whatever those units were. They don't use those things anymore. They're probably all in landfills right now. So everything is obsolete. Um, all of my training basically is obsolete. So I can't do that type of a thing. Now, uh, some sort of tech writing, possibly, but I think my brain is fried. Um, and just the whole concept of dressing up, getting ready for work, <laughs> the alarm clock, driving into rush hour traffic, a five day a week work week. If I was a direct employee with benefits, you're only given like two weeks a vacation per year oh give me a break if I was a temp employee that's slightly better as far as freedom you know so it might be like okay do you want to take a six-week job that's slightly better as far as feeling like you're not captive all right so for six weeks okay setting an alarm clock, going in, okay, you know that your life is free again at the end of six weeks. Okay, maybe I could, you know, maybe handle that. But again, what can I do? I don't know. I really don't know. So maybe if I wanted to do something of that professional nature, Maybe I could learn um, Adobe, uh, Adobe, um, think, think, think. Um, not, I'm not the greatest on Photoshop, but um, what's the other one? Um, the vector one. Uh, I, I, I probably could really hunker down and oh god uh i yeah that one I, whatever you know um but um but i i don't even really know if there's any uh, corporate type jobs to like go into the office and and uh, do do that as a job um, that would probably be a work at home type thing uh, doing Adobe <laughs> oh my god um, but that might be a side hustle um, to go on like let's say design crowd and put myself as a designer and then have so, you know bid on people's jobs to like design t-shirts and things like that but I am not a natural I have not um, I didn't train as a 
um, graphic designer. I have not done it on a regular basis. I don't design memes. I don't design cards. I don't design um, t-shirts. I, I did that for a short time around the election of 2008 but uh, for Cafe Press, but um, I mean, not for Cafe Press corporate, but just for my own Cafe Press store. But, you know, I'm, I'm not artistically inclined as a graphic designer. I was in drafting, but that doesn't mean that you're an artist if you're in drafting. All right, so this is a very long drawn out way of getting to where I was going. Um, there was one short lived thing that I did one time, um, you know, way back when, when they used to do Tupperware parties and Mary Kay parties and you had an Avon lady come to you and things like that. Um, I finally, finally did my stint and became a Mary Kay person. I never, I never he uh, held a Mary Kay party. I never did a one-on-one -on -one Mary Kay makeup consultant thing with a human being. I just simply did it online. Um, in fact, I kind of broke a couple of rules back then because you were not supposed to sell on eBay and I went ahead and did that and then they, they ended up changing that rule anyway. Um, but um, I did it for maybe eight, eight, eight months or so. I, you know, sold some amount of skincare type things, but I ended up having to just uh, sell the rest of my items, you know, lower than what I paid for it on in a big bundle on eBay. So, you know, it was a fail, fail, basically. And, um, so why would I consider something like that again? Well, because a lot of the other things that I've thought about haven't really panned out. I've thought about flipping houses, but I don't have a construction buddy. My boyfriend, um, he's good with finding um, people to, to do things, but, um, he's, he's, he has hurt his back, uh, throughout his life of, you know, getting down and dirty and doing those types of things himself. And, um, and, you know, he's, uh, he's not as you know, interested as I am. And, you know, and I don't, when I actually go to actually start up a project, even, I mean, there's a mirror that needs to be hung in my bathroom that I, I personally could easily do and he could personally easily do, and he will, I'm sure he will do at one point in time. And it's just that, you know, it's just that a weekend will come along and the drill, the cordless drill is not exactly charged. And then, you know, so we're a little bit pathetic, you know, when it comes to Oh, yeah, 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 we'll get to it, we'll get to it. So, um, you know, do we, do I, do we, are we really, you know, so, so it's like, oh, yeah, that house that's 
in need of like everything that could be bought for like $50,000 that needs an HVAC system and electrical work and um, oh maybe a new foundation and you know oh well um I don't know you know not really sure if that really does sound as interesting as it looks on TV you know because there's this other house that could be bought for a hundred and fifty thousand dollars that has everything already done already so you know when you add up everything that would need to be invested in the fifty thousand dollar house would a profit actually be made and then when I think oh well why don't I just invest in the $150,000 house at, you know, an out of state property. Then I think, okay, so let's just say that I did buy that property in a different state. What the heck do I do with it? Do I then get a property manager to get a renter to manage it for a fee? So some of my ideas, it's like the potential profit or the potential agony just sort of, it's just, you know, the fun factor just starts to just whittle away and I just spin I just spin and nothing really ever happens it never becomes yeah that's something that I could do that's something that I want to do that's something that I will do it's been eight and a half years since Mark passed away and I just haven't really found something to do. I have a very tiny Etsy shop that is not worth talking about because, you know, it, it just doesn't do really anything to speak of. All right, so I am now toying with the idea of something that I don't even really want to hardly talk about yet. Um, you know, but it's of those, it's in that variety of the Tupperwares, the Mary Kays, the Herbal Life. Um, yeah, it's, you know, of the Amways. Okay, it's, it's, it's in that type of category where, you know, you could earn a cruise, you know, um, it's, it's in that category where, you know, you would have the other people that you could draw on, you could do it online, you would have your own online store and all that, but I tried this once and well, it, when I did the Mary Kay, it was not set up for online. You were, it was supposed to be very, very, very touchy-feely. And that definitely was not for me at all. So these days, it's completely set up to do online. And that is something that I like. But... I don't know, you know, I mean, I think about, you know, that my mood fluctuates and I like to travel sometimes, but people that I have started to watch that do this kind of a thing, 
they also have moods that fluctuate, they also travel, they also have, I mean, they're also human beings and, and um, they're not perfect people and all that. So I, I don't know. Um, maybe, you know, um, and, and, you know, there is some negative publicity out there, but then I looked up and I saw some negative publicity about somebody who sold Tupperware and Tupperware has been around since like 1940 something. And the, I watched a video and the person had to declare bankruptcy. Well, I mean, really, you know, if you can't manage your finances and if you start reinvesting in your business to the point where you're out of control, then that's just your own personality that's driving that decision. So, you know, if it's a business model where, you know, it's a startup cost of a thousand dollars or something like that, and it's up to you to grow the business at, a, you know, what it, at the rate in which you choose and yeah you could potentially have people around you saying oh you know you know you, you can't grow unless you buy 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 well it's up to you to just say yes well I hear what you're saying but I'm only comfortable with you know, a rate of growth that I can handle. Thank you very much. And my personality is a very conservative spending pattern. So there's not going to be anybody that is going to be able to say, Grow, 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 take a loan, take a loan, grow, grow, you know, fill every corner of your house with product. That's not going to ever happen. That never has happened and that never will happen. So none of those, none of those things will put me in bankruptcy because nothing ever has put me in bankruptcy. So... But I don't know. I don't know. Um, I have ordered some items. So I'm kind of test testing right now and seeing what I think of of this. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if I'm close or I don't know if I'm just thinking about, I don't know if this is just that I'm nervous about the stock market. It could, it could be that situation that the minute the stock market starts going back up, I will drop, drop this whole idea like a hot potato. So. All right, probably time to get the dog out to go to the bathroom and start to do that. So, okay. Okay, that's all. Bye-bye.